So did you ever want to know how the pros do their filtration? Well, on this episode, we're at Aquarium Care Center to find that out. Hey everybody, on this episode of Roscoe's Reef, we're going to take a look at Aquarium Care Center's frag system. We're going to head over to the store and talk to John and get his take on the methodology he uses to running such a large system. What his thoughts on lighting are, filtration, testing, the whole nine yards. We're going to talk to him about it and take a look at all those items. Also, um, what I want you to do is stick around to the end of the video. John's going to talk about a special event going on this weekend. It's the Halloween Bash and uh, give you some information regarding that as well. They're going to have a kid and adult Halloween costume um, prizes, pumpkin carving, food, drinks, and a great raffle table with a lot of great items on it. Um, speaking of that table, I'm going to give you a little hint on how to get basically 20 free tickets for that table. One is, down in the links in the description, I'm gonna link out uh, their websites their, and all their information. You get yourself um, the app for your phone and you join the club. Uh, it's a VIP club for Aquarium Care Center. Show them that, you get 10 free tickets. Also, if you show them on your phone that you're part of this family, the Roscoe Reef family, and you subscribe to the channel, and you'll get another 10 free tickets for that as well. So 20 free tickets before you even do anything else just for the raffle table and the prizes that are there so uh, I encourage you to head over to the website check out the, some of the things that are going on as well as the prizes so I'll be there so make sure you come over say hello and let's just talk tank and coral and fish uh, so all that information will be linked down below if you're a returning subscriber to the channel make sure that you hit the bell for uh, so this way you're reminded of um, the videos when they come out on my channel and if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so this way you can also get notifications when I upload videos so with that being said let's head on over and talk to John so now we're inside of Aquarium Care Center and we're talking with John John first of all thank you for having us in thank you for coming and what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let him tell you about his system and exactly how he runs it how he keeps it how he tests so with that I'm going to turn it over to John. Hey everybody, um, today we're going to go over our thousand gallon coral system in the center of our store. Uh, it's not that complicated, but there's some real reason, rhyme and reason behind how we do it. Uh, the system is comprised of LPS and soft corals predominantly. Um, we like to run a slightly higher organic level in the system so the corals have plenty of nutrients to, uh, to feed off of. Um, the system is about a thousand gallons. It's run naturally off of refugiums. Uh, we also have a skimmer um, and some dosing systems along with the Neptune system to control everything. Um, we're big fans of LED light. Uh, we use the Aqua Illumination Hydra HDs over the system. Uh, you'll see them spread around as, as we take a little tour. Uh, we have them controlled through the Neptune system as well on approximately a 12-hour light cycle. Uh, we favor the blue side of the spectrum, uh, shows off the colors of the corals. It also gives us a really nice growth rate. Uh, we do a lot of PAR readings and checking on different types of corals to make sure that we're giving them what, what they need. Um, we also, in each one of the systems here in System 5, the 1,000-gallon system, um, we keep certain fish um, some different types of invertebrates. Uh, for example, in, in these vats here, we have peppermint shrimp uh, to, you know, hopefully uh, eradicate any aptasia that may come in. We do full quarantine on all of our corals, uh, full dipping and, uh, you know, checking of our, our, on our own. Uh, we cut 90% of what you see, um, so we're very diligent in trying to make sure that they are, you know, happy and healthy for you. Um, the fish, uh, we kind of started collecting uh, tangs over the years and we have to be very careful in putting anything in the tank like that so we don't 
potentially have that parasitic uh, you know, uh, issue where you could you know, potentially pick up something like that and buying a coral. So we're very careful with what we do put into the tanks. Uh, we have an array of snails uh, in the tanks as well. Uh, we you know, try to put a six line ras here or there uh, in the system. Um, we start off our day by testing all of our coral systems, alkalinity, magnesium, calcium, phosphates, nitrates. We use uh, salifert. Uh, we actually use a combination of both salifert and Red Sea test kits um, to test the water on a daily basis. There are some personal preferences within the store with different you know, guys that work here, um, but we, 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 we like both those brands. For our alkalinity, magnesium, and calcium, we predominantly use a salifert test. Um, phosphates, we're using a photometer meter um, made by Milwaukee. Uh, we've actually put it up against the, uh, the 3800 um, hack system that we had, a very elaborate uh, photometer, um, and it's a very accurate system. Uh, nitrates, we'll use, uh, what are we using now, Chris? Red Sea? Salford for nitrates as well, still. Um, and of course, Red Sea, we use their uh, testing for their color agents. Uh, the system has a uh, Jedco um, dosing system on it. We find it to work just you know, beautifully. We use ESV as a product and have been for many years. We're very happy with that. We also use the Red Sea products uh, on the system. It, the entire store, and including this system, we use Instant Ocean Salt. Uh, we've never had an issue with it. It's very consistent. Uh, we can predict the levels. Uh, we draw approximately 125 to 140 um, milliliters of material every day into the system. Uh, we have hundreds and hundreds of colonies and thousands of corals, frags inside the system. We feed our coral tanks three times a week with coral candy. Uh, we target feed the LPS, some of the more hardier eaters with LRS and some mixtures of some meaty foods as well. All right, so John, tell me a little bit about the protein skimmer you have. Well, the protein skimmer we've had for quite a few years, and we just kind of fell in love with it. It was made by a company called Euro Reef. Uh, they no longer make the, the skimmer, um, but uh, we have recently replaced the motor. We had to kind of makeshift a motor to, uh, you know, to, to work properly, but we get such great production out of this skimmer. This is the one and only skimmer we have on the system right now, and there's a reason behind that, too. We're very cautious not to overstrip the water. We feel that the LPS and soft corals really need that, you know, that, that little bit of dirt mm -hmm. in the water, let's call it. Right. So that, that skimmer right there is, you know, we kind of call it Old Faithful. It's, and, a, it's, it's a beauty. And you're running uh, Neptune off this? Yeah, the entire system is run um, with a Neptune system. Uh, the lights are controlled. Uh, we monitor the levels through the system. Uh, we're in the process of doing some upgrades and, and some add-ons. Uh, as we move forward with the system. We'll have their new dosing system, uh, their alkalinity, calcium, magnesium system online here as soon as they come out with it, um, and, and things of that nature. So we, we, we love the system. And you're running filter socks. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of hype now about the Triton system and lack thereof filter socks, but we're still filter sock guys and gals. Uh, the system, all drain lines come down into the filter, into the filter socks. Filter socks are changed two times a week. Uh, we run 200 micron socks, and we run the older variety, so we, we do get a little bit through them. Uh, we're not trying to grab every single item out of there, but you know we, we do want to kind of clean up the water. And what are the Neptune probes for? Well, the probes monitor ORP, pH, temperature, and salinity. So we're kind of keeping an eye on all those levels, and uh, of course, if they fall out of whack, we can uh, you know make adjustments and shut things down accordingly. Okay, so I see you have a refugium on the tank. So there's tell me what you run out of here and how you run it. There's actually two of them, Scott. Um, each one of these refugiums has a pumping system that's located in the processing vats, one of which we just looked at. And the water will bleed into these two systems at about a rate of 300 to 400 gallons an hour. Uh, we do use a mild substrate bottom um, some nice live rock and some macroalgae. We have just kind of redone these two refugiums here. So you're going to see on a lighter side of the macroalgae, they're normally filled to the brim. But you know what we always see is what's in your refugium can also be in your tank. So you know we do have the uh, the old AI Soul uh, white LED lights, which you know put out a real 
uh, lower temperature and um, you know give us some good macroalgae growth. And each one of these are the systems dumped back into the processing back vats and head right back into the system. So you know the old the old uh, the piece with the copepods and amphipods and all those fun little critters you're trying to get dancing around whether they actually make it through the pump motors and back into the system or not. How, uh, of, how often would you say you harvest? I right would say on? we harvest every two weeks. Um, you know, we just recently in the last five days or so pulled these systems apart because again, every six or eight months we like to break them down, clean them out, and make sure we're not, you know, going in reverse, you know, with, uh, with, with you know, nitrates and, and putting too much nutrient back in the water. Now, I hear what sounds like an external pump. Yes, you can hear that pump. That pump has been running faithfully for many years. And at the time, we had chosen a, um, an Awaki, uh, which uh, I know they still make them, although we don't necessarily use them very often. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's the uh, 100 RLT, which moves about 2,000 gallons of water an hour. And that particular pump feeds these four cube vats up here and then the raceway down on the other side, which will show you we have a, a, a second pump, uh, a DC uh, pump that pushes 12,000 liters an hour into that system. We are replacing that motor um, in the next five or seven days. We're just waiting for some parts right now with a, um, a much quieter, um, more energy um, conscious, uh, and a stronger motor. Uh, Can we take a look at that? Sure. We're looking at the 20,000 and 18,000. We have the 18,000 here right now, inch and a half inlet and outlet. We'll reinstall that and put the controls on, and hopefully we'll have a good, a good motor here. Um, you know, so this is the replacement pump for that, that main system. And that's the, that's J Cod. That is a J, J Cod or, or J Bow. J Bow. Uh, you know, we're, we, we use these pumps quite often in the store. We sell these motors. We also sell other motors, CG, Ecotech, and all that other jazz. But these guys have never let us down. Never let us down. So we'll see how this one works out. So now I see a bunch of lights over the tanks that everybody would love to have over theirs. Can you tell me what they are? Well, these are made by Aqua Illuminations. Uh, they're the HD version uh, of their lights, and these are the 52s. Uh, each one of these three tanks in the front have two Hydra 52s um, set about 24 inches above the water. And we do that because we're looking for somewhere between 60 and 100 par on most of these corals. We find that some monies and, and certain uh, some philias, different types of corals really just don't like high light. Um, over the raceway, uh, we have the Hydra 26s. Uh, they're approximately two feet off the water, and again, we have that same par reading. Uh, we love blue light. Um, and we believe that you know we just get so much growth from it. So these lights are tuned with very little red, very little green. Our blues are all the way up to the max. UVs are running at about 75 or 80, and we have a tint of white in the light. Yeah, you may, you may notice that there's a lot of white in the, the frame right now, but that's just for filming purposes. When these lights go out, the whole store goes blue. Right. And uh, we have coral glasses and all sorts of fun gadgets that you can use while you're in the store to take a look at that coral uh, to see what it might look like, uh, you know, under some whiter light. Well, if you guys noticed while we were filming uh, the system and the filtration, all the Halloween decorations all over the place, we love Halloween. And one of the big events that we do every year is coming up here on the 29th, which is this Sunday. Uh, we actually start it tomorrow, and it goes on Saturday and Sunday. Uh, we have a Halloween contest. Uh, we have, we're raffling off a Red Sea Aquarium and hundreds of dollars worth of other prizes on our, uh, our, our table. Uh, we're also doing some giveaways uh, from Red Sea for the first 15 or 20 people that get into the store on Sunday. Uh, our sales are going to be amazing and our store is really stocked up. So if you guys are free, Friday, Saturday or Sunday, Sunday being the main event, please come by and check it out. And if you want to, you can register uh, for free as well on our app or you can look at your member mail or give us a call and we'll send you one. And you can get 10 free tickets uh, for just registering. All right, hope to see you then.
Thank you for watching this episode of Lost Goes Reef with Scott. As always don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.